How's it going, Gonzalez family? Cody here, showing you your new Radiance 25BH. Just want to do a quick walk around for you. It's a beauty. The new construction really came a long way. I don't remember if I mentioned, but these are Asdale walls, so they can't swell or anything. We might have talked about it, but just in case I didn't, just touch over again. Um, but electric tongue jack up, down, light. That's what you have there. 20 gallon propane tanks. Your hitch that's set up there for you. Um, one thing to notice on the battery setup is that it is positive to black. So uh, it gets a little confusing occasionally. Um, electric stabilizers jacks here. In and out. Coming down. Coming up. Pretty simple there. Those are not able to lift the unit. They are stabilization purposes only. So once you get mostly level, you can hit them and stabilize the unit. Just um, aluminum construction everywhere. Nice big light and runs the whole distance. Again, this is all in the fiberglass, so you don't have to worry about um, discoloring and stuff like you see on a lot of those units that the whole front cap's a different color in a year. Uh, it's automotive painted front cap, and then this is in the gel coat, so you'll have a nice look for many, many, many years to come. Outside kitchen setup, hot and cold water, two burner stove. Um, one thing on maintenance side, there is a P-trap under here, so make sure, you know, to take a look at it every so often. When you're bouncing down the road, I don't want it to uh, come loose on you ever and have water in there. Marine grade outdoor speakers. Electric awning. It's got the LEDs underneath the awning. Got a really nice, basically, living room outside. Um, spare tire on the back. There's your backup camera. That again is Bluetooth. Hooks up to your Bluetooth and um, to its own Bluetooth. Excuse me. Got your vents on the top. Privacy glass windows all the way across the board. This is similar to yours. Got the uh, hot water heater that was on your Wolf Pup. Are very similar anyway. But um, excuse me. I can't get that thing to move over. There we go. Just wanted to show you that there is a switch here for electronic versus propane operation. You also have the switch inside so that you can operate it. And I just wanted to show you that. You also have the resets that hardly are ever used, but they are there just so you know. And pop that back on and I'll take you through a quick walk of the inside of the unit. Not much you have to worry about out here. You do have the propane hookup underneath. So that's how you get propane to your grill here so that's at the rear of the coach where your entertainment spot is cable hookups if you ever want to put a tv out here you get the nice robust steps you got the wind resistant doors can take a 30 mile an hour wind without closing on you so that's what i'm demonstrating there popping inside a lot of this stuff is going to seem very similar because it's very similar to your cherokee but go over for a refresher all your monitor panels here this is your lights panel and this is something that your Cherokee didn't have that's nice completely shut down the unit so you come out and your battery's working properly you can get it up and down in your truck without messing around it's a good feature to have really nice feature to have um, you got your awning in and out here's going out here's your coming in slide in and out there's it coming in there's it going out. You do have your carbon dioxide monitor, just like the one you had probably previously, a little updated. Has a sensor there. If it's going off, you can reset it. Needs to be changed every couple of years for safety purposes. Going inside, you got your uh, big bed and couch and dining area all in one. There's a th kind of a three setup you can do there. Make it the bed, take the table out and use it as a couch or use it as a dinette. So it's a pretty nice feature. And it's larger too, so larger people can be on there. That's your 12 volt fridge there. This is gonna cool in about 30 minutes, so it's a lot more efficient and easier to operate. To operate it, you just pop her open, flip to which setting you want, give it 30 minutes and you're good to go. Storage underneath the beds, Teddy Soft beds. You got the AC control monitor. This is just like your house. Touch it for whatever mode you want to be on. Tell it what temperature. Furnace, AC, just like your house, high and low fan. 
foot flush toilet. Nice little linen closet there in the bathroom. We checked all your lines. Everything's good, no warranty issues. Microwave there, storage. The light color in here is awesome. Pouring in countertops. Now I'm kind of looking from the back of the coach forward. Notice you got that light right here underneath there. It's pretty sharp where you can put your shoes and stuff or just kind of nice decorative. Here's your stereo system. You got quite a few speakers in here. Another thing to mention on the radiances that I really like is the um, double duct system. It's called the H system, but you have ducts in parallel the whole unit. So it more moisture gets sucked out. You get better airflow. It's quieter. It's just a nice feature to have. And here we go. Master suite, accent lights, another AC, big king bed. More space in this model than the last model as far as getting in front of it so you can make it nicely. You got um, hookups on both sides of the bed for regular outlets or for USBs for your, you know, game and stuff. Heat ducts are in the sides, so you don't have to worry about cleaning those out. This again is your breaker panel. This is kind of your key operations place also. So breakers are main powers. You are on a 15 amp circuit. These ones will light up if they blow. They are 15 amp circuits. And you do have a 40 here at the bottom that is your reverse polarity. Um, if you get a surge, that's the one that's gonna blow and it'll help protect everything in here from not having any issues. Guys, I'm glad you were able to come see us again and we were able to put you in the trailer and hope you have great memories made with this one. And we really appreciate you coming and seeing us again. If you need anything else or have any other questions about this unit or any other questions about RVing in general, let us know and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks again, guys. This is Cody signing off. Bye.